And this is the Quick Stand 3 from Whitney Drums, a versatile platform for mounting your drums, cymbals, and accessories. It's aluminum, it's lightweight, and very sturdy. It was designed, first of all, as the new stand for our Sidekick Penguin nesting kit. But if you want to build your own Sidekick or cocktail style kit, you can buy just the hardware you need and mount any brand of drums. You can, for instance, convert a floor tom or hanging low tom into what we call a kick tom. The Quick Stand 3 can also be used in a more conventional drum set configuration to mount your cymbals and toms. Placed on either or both sides of a standard bass drum, you can get it with or without the sidekick pedal. And if you get the pedal, you can place it right next to your primary pedal for an alternate sound. Two of the legs are fixed at the standard 120 degrees, but the third will swivel independently, allowing you, for instance, to locate the post of the stand right next to your bass drum. This feature can also help compensate for off-center loading. And being a flush bass stand, you can place standard tripods and hi-hats in close proximity without the legs interfering. You can use any type of tom arm and cymbal boom. You'll just need a penguin clamp for each one. The arm of the clamp will tilt to any angle to help with positioning. The Sidekick pedal has many adjustment options available in order for you to get the feel and positioning that you want. The footboard can be rotated away from the leg that it's mounted on and locked in place. This can help you get the footboard into a comfortable position next to your bass pedal. The footboard can be mounted to any of the three legs in several positions up and back along the leg and by flipping its mounting plate around to either side of the leg. On the swing arm, you can adjust the beater length to hit the drum head where you want and you can adjust the pull side length to get the leverage you want and lock them both in place. To set the footboard at your desired angle, you have adjustment at both the top and the bottom of the rope. The swing arm has stroke adjustment here, just above where the spring mounts. This will affect how far the beater travels before it hits the head. You'll want to set your kick tom so that the top head is at a comfortable playing height and angle. Then you'll adjust the swing arm with swivel and height adjustments both here at the clamp and here at the post. I recommend positioning the pivot of the swing arm one to two inches away from the hoop and just below it. And set the angle and length of the beater so that it will hit near center head to achieve maximum low end sound. The angle of the rope will affect the feel of the pedal. For instance, the further away from vertical the more of an accelerator effect you'll achieve. When you're ready to fold the legs, you'll need to remove the L-arm that holds the swing arm assembly. If you've set the memory lock, the L-arm will go right back into position. And if you've kept all the clamps above where the sliding bracket tops out, you should be able to remove just the tom arms and cymbal booms and leave the clamps in position.